What's up guys, today we will be talking about the next Fate Grand Order event that just dropped, the Guda Guda Close Call and how to farm it the best possible way. So before we begin, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, turn on the notification bell and let's jump into the video. First of all, this event consists of 7 days of time gates. The welfare mysterious Ramaru will join you together with a holy grail after completing the main quests, so at the very least, you have to wait for a week. This event is one of those with 100 missions, so doing every free quest between 5 to 20 times can help you clear those missions faster without even looking at their contents. The actual farm scenario is the same, farm the event currencies even better if you try the gacha and got the banner CEs as they will increase the shop currencies drops. With those currencies, you empty the shop and claim these event CEs, don't forget to MLB them as they will become a 200% extra damage CE with 50% star EMP gauge and 30% extra damage against demonic enemies. Doing 3 turn setups with almost every servant will be way easier with DC equipped. This event's new mechanic, however, is the addition of new investigation missions. By clearing certain requests, like completing quests with a specific servant class in your party, we reward you with lots of materials and millions of QP. Each time you clear every mission of a set rank, you rank up in order to do the next set of quests until the EX rank. Now onto the farm places. First day, as usual, is not very profitable, but you can farm the bronze currency in the first node, capping at 119k health, silver in the second with 144k health, and gold in the third one with 122k HP, easy peasy, especially after you claim at least one damage CE after farming in the berserker node. In the third day onwards, you can find the best regular nodes, bronze node will be 3 waves of riders, capping at 165k health, the silver node will be 3 waves of casters, and the gold node will be 3 waves of assassins with both 171k and 187k health. You can use your go-to looper like Summer John, Summer Kama or Summer Musashi for consistency. As for the last 3 days of time gates, the nodes will be irregulars. The last bronze node will have a wave with just one berserker, a second wave with 6 berserkers, and the third wave with 2 berserkers capping at 256k health. Any DPS won't have any problems, especially with the damage CE, but I recommend Buster Lupin as it does not care about the enemy numbers. The Silver Node will have 1 Assassin at Wave 1, 2 Assassins at Wave 2, and 6 Assassins at Wave 3. This one is truly the enemy of Arts Looping. Finally, the last Gold Node will have 6 Archers enemies at Wave 1, 2 at Wave 2, and a single Archer at Wave 3 with 265k HP. This one, in my opinion, is possible to art sloop with ease if you manage well your NP gauge resources. Although, irregular waves and archer enemies scream, use Malazine. Finally, after completing the 100 missions, you will need to face some extra missions in order to claim more materials and lastly an extra holy grail. Some of those missions have unique mechanics like damage resistance, so keep that in mind. As for the banners, Ryoma is a really strong art slooper AoE lancer, but unless you want him for personal reasons, I would recommend you save for Melusine in this early December. Even if you already got her, Save for her NP2 or even NP5, as she will be a cheat code for this year's last event and, well, for everything else. And that's it for today's video. Feel free to comment down below any opinions about this event and this guide, so if you found this helpful, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, turn on the notification bell and catch you later.